Welcome to Screencast Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be talking about a system preference called Frux today. Uh, Frux lets you synchronize your address book between multiple machines. Um, currently it's a closed beta, so I'm lucky enough to have gotten in. It's pretty straightforward. Essentially you just install the preference pane on multiple machines. Um, currently they provide you with your login information and then you set your contacts up on the server. Um, now I'm going to synchronize this address book I have currently and it's going to get put onto the server. Um, so now we're going to go down here and we're going to edit a, a contact I have. We'll edit the Apple content contact. Uh, you can see here it says we heart Apple. I'm going to change that. And we're going to save it. And I'm going to go on to a new machine. The other machine that I have it installed on here. And we're going to have some problems here. Hold on a sec. Okay. As you can see, there's nothing in here right now, which is kind of bizarre. Okay, it says we heart Apple. I don't know why it's not showing up. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to hit the synchronize here. And it's going to grab off the server the changes from the other desktop I have with Frux. And it should. Uh, uh, I think I have to close this before I synchronize. So let's close. Let's close the address book here and then synchronize. Should probably do that for both of them. Okay, we're gonna synchronize it there. And it's saying syncing, okay. It's been synced. And we can synchronize it here. Okay. So now let's check the address book. There you go. As you can see, we've synchronized our address books. Changes from one address book have made it into the other. Um, it's kind of a handy feature, and it's nice that you don't have to pay for .Mac to, to do this. Um, through some of the emails I've passed back and forth with them, they've mentioned they're looking to add a web element to this so you can add other people, uh, friends and family and colleagues, so that when they edit their address information, it'll automatically update your address information. Um, the tabs here, there's nothing too too fancy. You can see a log, um, and then you see the two you have here. You have the ability to replace the contacts on the server with the ones you have currently on your machine, or you can replace the ones you, the contacts you have in your address book with the ones on the server. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.